Hey guys, it's Heather from Fit Fun Mama. Um, this is going to be my squat challenge vlog. I posted about it a couple days ago, but have been a bit lazy and haven't done it yet. So uh, what I did was I saw that there were a lot of pages that were doing like, um, like a squat challenge, I guess you could say. It was um, <laughs> my dog, the pain in the butt. Uh, so anyway, it was like one new like, they would do uh, one squat, which is probably really cool for these people that have like a lot of like thousands of likers. But me, I only have um, almost 300. So um, they're coming in pretty slowly. So I decided that instead of just doing one, one squat for one like, because you know, even if you get five, that's like five squats, big deal. So I decided to do 100 for every like that I get. Which has been okay so far because I've just had one, so that's a hundred squats. But if I get like five, then that's going to be five hundred squats, which I think I could do if I broke it up into different periods of the day. But what happens if you get like ten or twenty or you know whatever? So uh, we'll just see how it goes. We'll take it one day at a time. Uh, I don't know really how long it will take me. I, you know, I shouldn't have been squatting this whole time, but I wanted to do an intro first. Um, I guess we'll just go ahead and get started. Uh, I'm doing it outside today because um, my hubs has been working at night. They're like, uh, he works on computers for a local like chain of stores and they're open 24 hours a day so they uh, are putting in like a new system and they are busy so they have to do it at night which sucks because you know who wants to work at night. Well, anyway, so I'm going to start and keep talking because I can do this all day. Talk, that is. I don't know about squats. Uh, so I don't know if I'll be able to keep track of how many I've done. <laughs> anyway, uh, my husband has been working nights. And so I'm, work I'm doing this outside. I lost track already. Eleven, I think. Um, so he's been working nights. And I don't want to bother him. 16? <laughs> this sucks. I'm going to have no idea how many I've done. 18? Um, so yeah, so I'm working out outside today, which is nice. Uh, it's only 60, so it's kind of cool. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to have no idea how many squats I've done. 25, 26. Thirty-one. This will be fast. I thought it was going to take me like a while. Thirty-four. Thirty-five. I hope. <laughs> Thirty-nine. Forty. So I went hiking. That was fun. It was so different than just walking. We went five miles. Forty-five. And I didn't even know it. Like, it didn't feel like five miles. 48, 50, so that was something to get me out of my comfort zone. Uh, like I said, it was something I'd never done before, and uh, I got to do it with my new friend, and that was fun. She's really fun. She keeps me, uh, 56? I don't even know. She keeps me motivated to keep trying new stuff, which is really cool. 60? I have no idea. I so much it's so hard to count and talk at the same time. <sighs> 64. Anyway, if you haven't tried hiking, 67. You should try it because it was really cool. Uh, there was fresh air. I don't know, just nature. I think that was 70. I don't know where my dog went. So I might have to pause. And go get him. That was 75. Found him. We got a stick. Here. Here, chew on a stick. Okay, 75. It's harder to go get him than to do the squat. Okay. 76. So, uh, I posted earlier that I've really been struggling with my snacking lately. And if you saw the picture I posted, 85, then, you know, you'll see that I've gained some weight, 87, I think. 
uh, not a lot. I'm not even worried about the weight. It's the body fat. My body fat went up. <laughs> I think I'm at 90. So that sucks. 93. 94. But what do you expect? You know, you eat unhealthy. And you don't, I didn't get all my workouts in because uh, my husband's work schedule has been off. And so we were working out together. And it's just not practical to do that now that he's sleeping when I'm awake and I'm sleeping when he's working. I did a hundred, I think. <laughs> I have to watch this and see. Uh, yeah, I feel it in my legs a little bit. Not really anywhere else. But it was fun. Uh, next time I'll have to have somebody count for me because I really have no idea how many squats I did. I hope I did a hundred. I think I did a hundred. So, uh, yeah, it was cool. What else did I want to say? Um, I haven't been getting my combat workouts in. I've been walking five days a week with my friend Heather. Her name is Heather, too. And that's been a lot of fun. I've really enjoyed that. It's so much different when you do fitness things with people than when you're doing them by yourself. Because for my first year of fitness, I just... Um, worked out by myself, you know, I mean, and the DVDs are fun, it's, uh, especially Turbo Fire, that's what got me started, I really like Turbo Fire, it was so motivational, it was the first workout that I found that I actually enjoyed and looked forward to doing, like, I would wake up in the morning and think, man, I can't wait to do my workout, so that got me going, and that was great, and, but it's, uh, it's just a whole nother experience to get out there and do something with people, so I really like that. Uh, sucks that I haven't been able to work out with my husband. I really am missing that a lot. Uh, I think we're going to try to start doing some stuff together on his off days, but it's just not going to be the same for the next few months while he's working night shift. So that's just going to suck. Uh, it looks like the sun's coming out, which is good because I um, am going to walk later if <laughs> it doesn't rain. So, uh, I haven't made a video in a while. We've been pretty busy, and um, as you can tell from my Facebook posts, I've just kind of, everybody struggles off and on with their health and fitness and problems. You know, I'm going to sit down if I can. I don't know how close I'll be. It'll probably be blurry, but that'll just be okay. Anyway, so, everybody struggles with their health and fitness and eating habits. It's normal. I know that. I know that that's a part of... You can't, uh, well, maybe you, I don't know, maybe some people can, but personally, I cannot, um, it's not practical for me to just be 100% healthy all the time, and that's just not how it works for most people. Um, ideally, I would love to be 100% healthy all the time, but I'm just, I really struggle with my food choices and with snacking. I, I do okay, I do wonderfully um, for breakfast, morning snack, lunch, afternoon snack. Uh, and usually around 2 or 3 o'clock is where I really start to lose it. I just, um, I go from eating really healthy to eating really unhealthy. And maybe I'll eat a healthy snack, but I'll eat a lot of it. And then by dinner time, I even make healthy dinner. It's not, it's not the food, it's not the meals that's getting me. It's the afternoon snacking and the before bed snacking. Uh, I feel like I have to have something sweet. I just realized I still have a phone number written on my leg. Uh, that's great. I wrote that there last night. Um, it's the phone number to the vet's office. My dog is having an issue. He's, um, he's okay now, but, so I scribbled it on my leg really quickly because I didn't have any paper, so, uh, whoops. If you're wondering what that was, it's a vet's phone number. So, anyway, I, uh, I feel like I have to have something sweet after dinner every day every single day and I um, I've been reading a lot about food addiction and how um, when you eat fatty sugary salty things anything in those categories that it triggers the um, the happiness response in your brain and so it, it the pleasure so well, I can't remember exactly what they called it the pleasure center or something like that where your brain tells you oh, my dog ran off again
Okay, so I don't really know what I've said because this has just been um, a mess of dog and trying to pay attention. So I've been really struggling with my food choices. Uh, I've been doing a lot of snacking. I, uh, no matter how hard I try, I just feel like I can't control my snacking. And um, I'm a firm believer in, in if you can't eat it responsibly, don't keep it in your house. And I also believe all things in moderation. You should be able to have the things that you enjoy every now and then. But I have children and they really like their snacks. They love um, Nutri-Grain bars and Pop-Tarts and cookies and goldfish and pretzels and you know all things in moderation, right? But uh, my problem is, is I don't eat it in moderation. Uh, like yesterday I ate um, nearly a whole box of wheat thins which um, aren't really bad for you unless you eat the whole box and then you have a problem so I did I mean I didn't eat the whole box but pretty darn close you want this you want cheat so if you can have those things, I, I, anyway, I don't know how to have, the, I'm still working on having those things in my house and not eating them because I feel like if they're here, I ha, I'm going to eat them. So, and it's a matter of self-control. I just, I feel badly about myself because I can't control my snacking habits. It makes me feel uh, just bad in general, like, um, just like a bum, you know, like I just, who can't not eat food. But I know that that's something that'll, hey, don't bite me. I know that's something that a lot of people struggle with. So that helps me. I don't feel as bad. Um, and I know a lot of people running a fitness page wouldn't post things like this, but I am an honest person. I want you to know that it is always a struggle. Maybe not for some people. I have seen some motivational pages um, that seem like they don't ever struggle and I admire that because if, if they're being honest and they really don't struggle that takes some serious self-control and dedication and that's always going to be something I struggle with it's always going to be an ongoing thing for me um, and I know that so I I am not going to quit and I am uh, I am just uh, prepared for a lifelong struggle. I mean, I know that may sound a little daunting, but uh, I want to be healthy and I want to be fit and I want to feel good on the inside. And you don't feel good when you're eating a bunch of junk. Not only you just feel tired and exhausted and crabby and your like internal digestion is all messed up because you've just been feeding your body crap. So I'm doing it to feel better and to look good because looking, I'm not a vain person, but I've worked hard, super duper hard to get where I am today. And I want to stay there or get better. I don't want to go back to where I was. So, so yeah, I work hard every day or I should, or I want to work hard every day to look good, feel good, um, and just be healthy. I want to set a good example for my children and my friends and my husband and just all the people around me. So I don't feel like I've been doing that very well lately because I haven't uh, been eating healthy, but I know I need to, I don't know, I have to make some kind of change. I'm working on it. Uh, I haven't figured out yet how to, uh, how to eat healthy all the time or, you know, even 80% of the time because I believe in the 80-20 ratio. Uh, you know, 80%, well, there's two. Um, eat clean 80% of the time and then not clean 20% of the time. That way you're still eating more healthy than you are unhealthy, um, but you're still allowing yourself a little room for movement. He's bumping my table. And also 80% diet, 20% exercise. So uh, you can work out all day long, but you really cannot out-train a bad diet no matter how, you can work out five times a day and still not see the kind of results that you want because you're eating crap. So, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. I, I did the squats, as you saw. Um, I talked about my snacking habits. Um, and I chased my dog a lot. That was fun, not 
He doesn't, uh, he's not really good at listening yet. He's only um, 12 weeks old this week. So he's still a baby and I have to remind myself of that all the time. And now he is going to the driveway again. So I'll see you guys later. Bye guys.